Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. for that. Why, a lot of women would. Oh, you don't know what a thrill it is for a movie fan to have a shirt that's touched Marlon Brando's chest. <laughs> or, or a pipe that, that, that has touched Cary Grant's lips. Mrs. Carmichael, we have a lot to do. Get your book. Yes, sir. <sighs> now then, take a letter to John Wayne. John Wayne, duh. <laughs> oh, sit down. Yeah, I think I'd better. <laughs> All right, now are you ready? Yes, sir. Ah. Dear John. Dearest John. <laughs> Not dearest, dear. Oh, all right. Dear John. I want to thank you for the donation of your saddle for the motion picture charity ball sponsored by our bank. Mr. Mooney, mm. instead of a letter, wouldn't it be all right if I just went over and thanked him in person? <laughs> no, it would not. Now, please be quiet, Mrs. Carmichael. I'm trying to think. Uh, hello? Oh, I'll have to call you back on that. I'm very busy at the moment. Yeah, uh, yeah, goodbye. Uh, where, where was I? Where was I? You were like this. <laughs> I meant in the letter. Oh, well, the, the last thing you said... I, I know, I know, I know, I know. At the charity ball, we are selling many motion picture mementos, such as your saddle, for $1,000 a piece. Yeah, not quite so fast, I... Mr. Mooney. Oh, all right. <laughs> I feel this sale will bring a generous response from our very prosperous patron. Sign it. Yours truly, etc., etc. Yes. Now, when they come for this stuff, send it right over to the ballroom. Yes. I'll be there supervising things for yes. tonight. I know, sir. I hope to heaven you can get it right. Yes, oh. I will. Don't worry. Oh. Dearest John. <laughs> Yeah. Look what Paramount Pictures contributed to the charity ball. That, that is the jacket that Audrey Hepburn wore in Danger in Paris. Oh, you've got some memory. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Wouldn't you just love to own something like that? Oh, I sure would. Ah, what would I do with it? I'd never go anyplace to wear anything like this. That's what you think. Have I got a surprise for you? What? You're going to that ball tonight. What? No kidding, honest. Oh, come on now, Mary Jane. I'm too old for fairy tales. Remember when you had lunch with me at the commissary yesterday? Yeah. Well, after you left, a friend of mine, Eddie Feldman, he works for Dean Martin, he wanted to know who the cute redhead was. He did? Yeah. And Dean Martin bought two tickets for the ball, and he gave them to Eddie, and I fixed it up for Eddie to take you. Well, I'd love to go to the ball, but I don't even know Eddie. Oh, he's a wonderful person. He's the kind of fellow you can spend the whole evening with and not have to be a judo expert. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's a nice fellow, but gee, not even knowing oh, him. Oh, Lucy, he's a dream. What does he look like? He's only Dean Martin's double. You mean he looks like Dean Martin? Exactly. If Eddie didn't wear glasses, you wouldn't be able to tell him apart. 
<laughs> well, thanks a lot, Mary Jane, but you just tell Eddie Feldman that Lucy Carmichael said she wouldn't dream of going out with anybody that she hasn't even met. But Lucy! And then you tell him that you talked her into it. <laughs> <laughs> room. No, he's not here. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Right. Well, where is Dean? Well, he's still over in makeup. Still in makeup? You notice, Harry, with each picture, it seems to take longer and longer to make him up. <laughs> hey, Harry, okay if I borrow one of Dino's jackets for tonight, huh? A sure. Jacket? Help yourself, Eddie. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, I got a date with a cute little redhead. I saw her in the commissary yesterday. We're going to go to that charity ball. Oh, I hear that's going to be quite a party. Well, it should be. Those tickets Dino gave me cost a hundred bucks a piece. Wow, that ought to impress your girl. It certainly should. Well, what's she look like? Well, she's attractive. She's, uh, she's no Liz Taylor. <laughs> she's no Gina Lola Bridget, eh? <laughs> she ain't even a Bridget Bardot. <laughs> She's not going to wait if I'm late, so thanks for the jacket. Okay. <laughs> Have a good time. Bye, now. Dean Martin's dressing room. Yeah, Charlie. You're going to shoot the chase scene tonight? Well, will you need Dino? Just his double. Uh-oh. Poor Eddie. Well, he's got a big date tonight. Those are the breaks. Right, I'll tell him. Hi, Harry. Yeah? You all through, Dino? Yeah, any messages? Well, no, not for you. But the production office just called Eddie. He's got to work tonight. Why? Too bad. Oh, boy, well, he's got a big date. He has? His first date with a new girl to go to the charity ball. And? That's show business. What do you want? Well, I feel sorry for the guy. Yeah. It, it's his first day with this girl, and if he doesn't show up, she's gonna think he's an awful heel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let him go on his date. I'll be my own double tonight. I can fall off a horse. I've had lots of practice falling down. <laughs> Forget it, Dino. You know the studio won't let you take a chance like that. I guess you're out of here. Where is Eddie? Well, he's in his dressing room. Good. I'm going over and tell Eddie that if he can fall off a horse for me, the least I can do is keep a date for him. <laughs> right? I don't care what anybody says, Dino. You're a nice guy. What nice guy? Eddie's my best friend, and I'm going to do what any guy would do. Go out with my best friend's girl. <laughs> Eddie Feldman. <laughs> well, hi, I'm Lucy. Here. For me? Unless you want me to wear it. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eddie. They're beautiful. <laughs> you know something? I don't think you look like Dean at all. I don't? Well, you look like him, but, you know, not as old. <laughs> I guess that's because he dissipates. I understand he drinks pretty good. Oh, well, Dean's drinking, that's all exaggerated. He it... takes a few belts now and then just to keep up his image as a swinger, you know. Oh. It's just a gimmick. Actually, he doesn't care for the stuff. He doesn't? No, but I'd like a little sauce if he got some. <laughs> I don't usually, but...
but in as much as I was having company, I, I did mix a couple of martinis. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> there we are. Thank you. It's my first one today. Me too. With my left hand. <laughs> Hope you like martinis. Oh, I do. I <laughs> sure do. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> you know, I didn't have any vermouth, so I put in just a dash of lemon juice. That's great. <laughs> Something else, I didn't have any gin, so I used some white cooking wine. Cooking wine? <laughs> yeah, sauterne. Sauterne. What do you use for olives? Oh, these are real olives. Oh, that makes a good drink. No. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like another one? I don't think so. <laughs> one of these is about all I can handle. I couldn't handle another one of these either. You know, I like men who don't care too much about drinking. So do I. It leaves more for the poor devils that really need it. You know, when you talk, you sure sound like him. Well, that's all part of my job. Part of your job? I didn't know to double for someone that you had to sound like them, too. Well, sometimes they use me to dub in lines for Dean, you know, like when he gets hoarse from playing golf. <laughs> hoarse from playing golf? Yeah, well, he screams when he loses. <laughs> He's a great competitor. <laughs> uh, Mary Jane tells me that you once had a very successful career of your own, Eddie. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago. Uh-huh. Well, she said you were on the Broadway stage and, and were quite a success, and then you came out here for your own acting career. Yeah, but when I got out here, they said I looked too much like Dean Martin. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's terrible. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm better off. I, it's been 10 years of steady work, and I'm working for a real nice guy. <laughs> well, you are very nice to say that he's nice. Why? Well, after the way he's ruined your career, I should think that you'd resent him. Well, he's a hard guy not to like. <laughs> well, why shouldn't he be nice? Look how lucky he's been. Lucky? Yeah. Lucky? Yeah, you know, when I first saw Dean, he was working with Jerry. Jerry who? <laughs> Jerry Lewis. Oh, I remember him. Yeah. <laughs> When they split up, uh, frankly, I was worried about Dean. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to make it. Oh, neither did I. <laughs> yes, I was very worried about him. So was I. My whole family was worried about him. <laughs> oh, are your family Dean Martin fans, too? Well, not as much as they used to be. <laughs> but they do like to see him, you know, do good. Yeah, well, I can understand that, of course. I, uh... Oh, dear. Hmm? I hope all my chattering isn't going to make us late for the ball. Oh, no, we have plenty of time. <laughs> we don't want to be the first ones there. Are you kidding? At $100 a ticket, I don't want to miss a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Would you uh, be so kind, Eddie? Why, certainly. Thank you. Oh, Eddie, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Well, I guess we're ready. Yeah, especially like this. First time I've ever had a whole dance floor by myself. <laughs> well, I didn't realize that we'd be so early. Oh, we've only been here an hour. <laughs> oh, you're such a good dancer. Oh, look! What? what? The orchestra's coming in. Oh, they finally found a place? <laughs> uh, come here. Pardon me, sir. Would you play a request? 
Surely, what is it? Uh, well, uh, it goes da dee 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 da dee dee dee. What's the title? Well, I forget, but it goes da da dee 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 da dee 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 dee. Do you know what she's singing? I never heard it before. <laughs> oh, I remember. If I'd like to get you on a slow boat to China. That's it? Yeah, Dean Martin sings it all the time. Oh, that's what he's been singing, huh? <laughs> oh, Say, aren't you Dean Martin? No, I just double for him in pictures. <laughs> Amazing resemblance. You have the same rosy eyes. <laughs> Just think of you always, too. Uh, <laughs> oh, Eddie, what? did you see this? What, 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 what? Come here, I want to show you something. You see this jacket? Huh? Audrey Hepburn wore this in one of her pictures. You know what I envy most about the movie actresses? It's the clothes they get to wear. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, last time I saw anything that fancy was on Liberace. <laughs> <laughs> But there's my secretary, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, yes, and look who she's with. Uh, uh, Mrs. Carmichael, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, hello, Mr. Mooney. <laughs> hello, Mrs. Carmichael. Uh, uh, you all know my secretary, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, yes, I do. And of course you know who this is. Oh, we're very honored to have you here. Mr. Martin, won't you have a cigar? <laughs> I've always been a fan of yours, Dean. I just loved your last picture, Dean. Uh, yeah, I, I wonder if you'd give me an autograph for my mother. Well, no, you, you folks are making a little mistake. A mistake? Yes, Mr. Mooney. Uh -huh. Mr. Mooney, this is Eddie Feldman. He, uh, he's a double in pictures. He just looks like Dean Martin. Oh! I'm sorry, Eddie. Oh, forget it. Would you care for a drink? I'll try and force one down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Fresh pineapple and cherries and papaya and strawberries. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I should have brought my camera. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, no, thanks. I'm driving. <laughs> feels so good out here. It's so brisk. I got a little warm in there dancing. Yeah, well, that's a great way to catch cold. I I'll get you a wrap. Oh, thank you, Eddie. Well, here's your wrap. Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> well, Eddie, this is... This is yours. What? Eddie! I can't let you do oh, this. Now, look, Dean likes to patronize this charity ball. He gave me the money and told me to make the purchase. But it's so expensive. It's deductible. <laughs> but if, if Dean had you buy the coat, well, then you should give the coat to Dean. He looks lousy in beans. <laughs> Besides, he's only leave it at some bar. <laughs> Care, but you must have someone special that you want to give it to. She's got it. Oh, Eddie. <laughs> oh, Eddie, thank you. It's all right. Oh, I've never had anything as nice as this in my whole life. Oh, Eddie, it fits me. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, could we go inside so that everyone could see me in it? Let's go. <laughs>
Eddie. You? <laughs> oh, I, I just want to thank you for a perfectly marvelous evening. Well, it was my pleasure. Just throw that old thing over on the chair. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll go out and make us a little snack. Oh, wait, I think I'd better cut out, because i got to get a good night's sleep tonight. Well, now, if you'll just stick around for a few minutes, I'll fix you something that will help you sleep. What's that? A cup of hot chocolate. Oh, I'd like that. <laughs> Listen to some of my uh, favorite albums. Oh, well, uh, who, who you got? Oh, Frank Sinatra, Jack Jones, Andy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not too much of a record fan. <laughs> oh, well, why don't you just turn on the radio then? <clears throat> Everybody falls in love somehow. Something in your kiss just told me that sometime is now. Well, if I had you in my power, I'd arrange for every girl to have your charm. Then every minute, every hour, every boy would find what I found in your heart. Well, everybody loves somebody sometimes. Mm -hmm. There's no telling where. Oh, boy, this makes me so mad. What? You even sing better than he does. <laughs> Just prejudice. No, leave it to Hollywood to make a star out of the one with the least talent. No, let's not get bitter. Maybe Dean doesn't have a lot of talent. Maybe he has been lucky, but it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Well, I guess he does have his good points. Hmm. And now, folks, we interrupt our music to bring you a news bulletin. Tonight, a real-life drama took place in the making of a motion picture. A horse ran away with Dean Martin's leading lady. And she was rescued by the heroic action of Dean Martin's double, Eddie Feldman. <laughs> well, no wonder you sing better than he does. Honey, Eddie Feldman is a wonderful guy, and he found out he had to work tonight. And if he broke this engagement with you, you'd think he was some kind of a Hollywood phony, so I offered to take his place, that's all. Why didn't you tell me you were Dean Martin right off the bat? I'd have gone out with you anyway. <laughs> It's been a very lovely evening. I had a very nice time, but under the circumstances, I certainly can't accept this. And why not? <laughs> For one thing, you're married. You should give it to your wife. Well, sorry, Lucy, but you're stuck with it. Why? Well, if I took that home to my wife, she'd think I did something. <laughs>
Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. For that. Why, a lot of women would. Oh, you don't know what a thrill it is for a movie fan to have a shirt that's touched Marlon Brando's chest. <laughs> or, or a pipe that, that, that has touched Cary Grant's lips. Mrs. Carmichael, we have a lot to do. Get your book. Yes, sir. <sighs> now then, take a letter. To John Wayne. John Wayne, ah. <laughs> Oh, sit down. Yeah, I think I'd better. <laughs> All right, now are you ready? Yes, sir. Ah. Dear John. Dearest John. <laughs> Not dearest, dear. Oh, all right. Dear John. I want to thank you for the donation of your saddle for the motion picture charity ball sponsored by our bank. Mr. Mooney, <clears throat> instead of a letter, wouldn't it be all right if I just went over and thanked him in person? <laughs> no, it would not. 